Welcome to the new playlist on machine learning. This playlist is structured exclusively for the beginners who are willing to proceed their career in the areas of machine learning or in data analytics. So uh, to start up with the machine learning ideology which is derived from making the machines to learn from the data what the data is and how it is structured. So this playlist will give you an insight on each and every concept on machine learning. So the prerequisite for machine learning is you should be clear with any one of the programming language either Python or R or any other language. Uh, then a basic understanding of a linear algebra, probability and statistics is would be appreciable. So this uh, playlist is aimed and created in such a way that even the beginner who are not aware of any of these concepts will get a clear understanding on each of these concepts as you go through. So as some people say, uh, you need to learn the linear algebra, probability and statistics and only then you should move on to uh, Python programming and then only you can understand machine learning. It is not that case. So when you take up a new concept in machine learning, the mathematical concepts, linear algebra concepts or probability or statistics or the programming concept, whatever is there within that machine learning concept aspect will be explained in clear in each and every video as you go through the playlist. So as I said already, the prerequisite for learning entire thing will be like linear algebra then your statistics knowledge then your probability knowledge and finally to implement all these three ideas into the machine learning program you need a programming language which can be python or r preferably Nowadays, people move on with Python, which is on the uh, peak requirement now. So, to understand what is machine learning, what is machine learning? It is nothing but you make the machine understand something from the data. That is, it learns from your data. So, your teaching the machine to learn something from the data okay so how is this made how is this made and how is it uh, different from the traditional programming language when you go with c or c++ or java any programming language what we used to give is we used to give some program program then the data is provided into the computer to arrive at some output. For example, when I am going to uh, find the sum of any two, three numbers, I need to write a program in any programming language like C or C++ or Java. Then I need to give the input data. I need to give two inputs. Then the computer will process it, the program and the data will be processed by the computer CPU and it will be given as an output. So this is your traditional programming language. So how is this different from machine learning? So when you go with machine learning, we call it as model, not as a program. We call it as a model. So how is this machine learning model different from traditional programming is, we used to give the data and the preferred output, what should be the output? I'm going to give the data, that is the input, and the preferred output to the computer written in any programming language, and the output will be given as a model. Okay, so as you can see, this model and this data with preferred output is going to be an iterative process where the model produced will be analyzed with whether it is working suitably with the data or not. 
if it is below the performance level again the data and the preferred output will be fed to the computer model uh, that is the machine learning model and again the data is going to be processed with some basic uh, changes or tuning parameters and the model will be evaluated again so this is going to be an iterative process unless or otherwise the computer model that is a machine learning model understands what is the inference of your data until it understands what is the inference of your data it is going to do this process in an iterative manner so this is the basic difference we give the program and data and find the output that is the traditional programming but here you are going to give what should be the output from the given input and the computer is going to learn how the model will be to analyze what could be for the other data which is not read at all to be more exactly clear let me give you an example of a student learning for her exam okay uh, so a student used to learn something based upon the content which she has plus the timing she spends in the learning how she performs in the exam so these contributes the final result of the student suppose if i want to find the result this is for one student suppose if i want to find the result of some 100 students i want to predict the teacher wants to know what could be the result of all the students then automatically the teacher used to see the previous performance of the students in the class or the previous classes and then finalizes okay this student will be making the result like this for example some students will be good in mathematics so such sort of students will score high in mathematics based subjects in other subjects which are related to theoretical concepts they may get a less number of marks so this is what we call as modeling so we cannot go and read each and every data of 100 students and find the teacher cannot find the details of all the 100 students each and every student and find the prediction instead she can wait for the final result of the exam so in order to facilitate this modeling machine learning model works there so there are many types of machine learning models as we go through each and every section we will learn everything in detail so some of the machine learning techniques some of the machine learning techniques which are of implementation today are you can use it for classification process you can use it for categorization process you can use it for clustering process you can use it for trend analysis anomaly detection then visualization then decision making so to get a clear understanding of each and every concept if i want to classify either the student will get a pass mark or a fail mark i can use the classification if i want to categorize the student as either a male category uh, student or a female category student based upon the classification i can do it if i want to cluster the students as um, below average above average and excellent students i can make it as clusters when i want to make a uh, some intuition on the data which is previously available to predict the future i can go on with trend analysis which we use uh, during shopping or uh, during a youtube search or during any sort of searches we find the trend analysis there to bring your data to the top level anomaly detection is one where you can find the one which is picked as an odd one this is an odd man for example if all the students are getting uh, uh, more than 60 marks in a subject one student is getting just four marks in a subject that four marks is considered to be as an anomaly okay then visualization when you go with business trend analysis visualization techniques are more important to make the dashboard analysis 
So visualization also works with machine learning. Then comes decision making where as I told already decision modeling can be done. So with this the theoretical part of machine learning as I feel it is uh, in uh, more than enough. The main concept and idea of this machine learning playlist is to project you with all the machine learning techniques which are required to upgrade your career. So to get into any machine learning project, when you go with any machine learning project, the basic concepts behind them will be like um, define a problem. This will be your first part. This first part of defining a problem will be at the maximum given by the client who is uh, asking you to design a machine learning model. They will provide you what the problem is, what they need to do. Okay. So this part we are not going to cover up. The second one is you will be looking into some of the analysis part after getting the problem. After getting a problem defined by the client you need to analyze the data whether the data is more than sufficient for you to work on and create a model or is there any discrepancies with the data available so for analyzing the data what you need as a first thing is you need to know, load these data sets there are many ways to load the data sets we will look into all these uh, so this is the uh, agenda for this playlist we will look into these agenda one by one in the consequent videos. So loading playlist uh, data data sets, loading data sets, then comes the understanding of data. So after loading the data set, you must understand what is given in the data, what the data speaks about. So for understanding this data, you can either do descriptive analysis or you can do with visualization using graphs or charts okay so your third part will be to prepare the data according to the requirement according to the client's requirement you have to prepare the data so after getting the problem you are analyzing the data using the descriptive analysis and visualization and finding if there are any discrepancies if there are any discrepancies or if the data is not likely to get prepared for a model then we will be moving on with preparing the data so how to prepare a data the first thing is you need to pre-process the data so pre-processing can be like getting into the exploration of data the second part will be with data wrangling. The third part with is with data manipulation. So this three steps of pre-processing will make your data somehow fit to the model you are going to create. So after this you are going to do with feature engineering so in feature engineering we will be having the feature selection process then the feature analysis sorry factor analysis this factor analysis part will be done by PCA or using LDA based upon the circumstance so after this feature engineering part is done, we will be going into, let me bring it to the left so that you can understand it a little bit better. Okay. So this will be your second part. Hope you can it is clear now okay then we'll be having the 
after the data preparation we will be going on with the model evaluation so for making the model evaluation process we need to create models so for creating models you can call it as defining the models also so after creating the models we are going to use some resampling methods to create uh, to make the model in a fine-tuned manner then we will go with after resampling we will be going with performing the evaluation metrics then we will move on with selecting the appropriate model, perfect model which goes well with the data. Then we will be going on with the pipelining process. So don't worry about all these terminologies. We will look into all these. Now, just now I am giving the agenda of what we are going to look into this playlist. So after evaluating the model, we are going to improve the results if needed so this step is going to be an optional one if your is if your model which you have created works well then it's final good if it does not work good then you need to improve the result using some ensemble methods then algorithm parameter tuning So this will improve your result to some extent. When we go into this part of improving the results, I will go in uh, well detail with some other concepts also. How to uh, fine tune your data, how to fine tune your algorithm, all these models. Okay. So the final step will be to present your results. How you are going to present your result? That is the model finalization step. You are going to finalize the model and you are going to define what are the parameters you have used and for which parameters your model will not work better. You are going to tell all these in a single step. So this six stages of definition will make a good machine learning project. So this is what is the, as I told already, this is going to be the agenda for this entire playlist. So maybe one topic will be covered in one video or one or two videos or two topics may be covered in one video. According to the timing, we can cover up all the things. If you have any clarifications to be done with the database or you, you, you can try each and every step which is given over here with your own data sets. Uh, I will give you the link of the free data sets which are available. You can try on it. If you find any issues with that, you can share your drive link along with the data set or you can just give the code and the data set and the problem you faced so that I can help you out of how to come out of that problem or what can be the solution for that problem. So happy learning. See you in the next video.